What's up, everybody? This is Carolina Mike, your host for SharePoint in 60 Seconds, where you get the information you need right up front. And if you want more, stick around for a step-by-step -step walkthrough. Today, we're going to show you just how easy it is to color code your classic SharePoint events list and calendars by using overlays and views and categories to make it all happen. Stick around. I'm a SharePoint expert, play with data extra. Careful with my hands, cause I gotta use them for work. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd. I like maple syrup. All my pancakes, I don't care what you heard. Okay, so let's go ahead and get that timer rolling. All right, boom. First thing you're gonna do is wanna go ahead and create a view, create a calendar view, and we're gonna not show anything on that. Okay? We're gonna do that, cause you'll just trust me. We're gonna call it color coded. That's right, we're gonna get color coding going on. We're gonna say, when uh, category, no, when ID equals blank, because you can't have a blank ID, so it's not going to show anything. Okay, we just had stuff, so if we go back and we go back to calendar, we could see we had stuff. Okay, we go to color coded, we go to color coded, we go to color coded, and we don't have anything, but that's okay. We're going to go here, we're going to create calendar overlays, we're going to say new calendar, we're going to pick a view. We're going to say, yeah, it's a view. I don't have time to name it because we're under the gun. And then boom, boom, boom. And then we're going to resolve and then resolve. And then we're going to go to, yep, calendar task count. We're going to go to meetings. Boom, always show. Boom. So now we got meetings back in a certain color. And we're going to go ahead and add another calendar for holidays. And we're just going to call it holidays. Yep. And then we're going to go and we're pick a different color for holidays. We're going to go with red and then we're going to say resolve, resolve. Yep. Resolve, resolve. And then we're going to go holidays. We're going to always show. We're going to say, okay. And we're going to say, okay. And then we're going to see that everything is now overlaid and color coded. Ba bam. I don't know if that was 60 seconds, but it felt like an eternity. So now let's slow it down and talk about what all is going on here because there is I don't want to say it's a lot going on but you just got to kind of think about it in a certain way so let's say you've got a calendar and you've got multiple views let's go back to the original view here the default the current default view is calendar and it's showing events and we got some meetings we got holidays and we're like all right we want to see that but we want to see like meetings one color holidays another color all right, well, first thing you got to do is you got to have a place to like put all this, like a canvas, like a blank canvas. Because if you don't start with a blank canvas and you're showing stuff, when you go to overlay your calendars, you're going to have duplicate events. And no one's got time for that. So you're going to go in and you're going to create a new view, uh, you know, calendar. You're going to create a new view. It's going to be a calendar type view. And then you're going to filter it that it only shows stuff when when the ID is empty and you can't have an empty ID it starts out at one so that's the unique identifier for each list item okay so once you've got that blank slate established then you can start adding in your overlays now your overlays are going to basically be views from an events list on your within your site collection it can be from an events list, uh, a view that exists on an events list at your top level site or any sub site underneath. However, it cannot cross site collections. So you cannot pull in calendar views from other sites, other top level sites or site collection. There you go. So in this case, we had, if we go to our calendar, we can see that we had a couple of different views now uh, I'm not sure if I have a video on that if you want to see a video on how to uh, well I know there's videos on how to create views so as long as you're uh, assigning a category to your meeting or to your event then you're able to create separate views in this case went with holidays and meetings basically just two filtered views and so then you're gonna basically go to your color-coded view which we established as as blank so if i were to if i were to look at the settings for this if i go to modify this view you'll see it's filtered to show nothing okay this should not yield any results and it does not but it has an overlay on top that does have results so i go in 
and I go to overlays and see I have the view overlay which is for meetings because I was flustered and didn't name it meetings and then we have holidays so if you have another view you would just go in and you want it let's say you wanted to overlay a third view um, or if it's a uh, whether it's a, from a the this exact calendar or a different calendar in the site collection you just click on new and you're gonna name it you're gonna resolve that URL if it's a different site in the site collection just pop that in there and then you're just gonna go to your uh, to the calendar uh, that has the view that you want and you select it and you say always show that way it always shows up on this particular view and when you're done you hit OK and you'll get your color coded uh, calendar events in this case we used the category to create the uh, the difference in the colors so with that hope this has been helpful uh, please feel free to share this with someone who you think could find value please like subscribe and all that happy jazz we appreciate you this channel does not exist without your support so thank you and with that remember do the very best you can with what you got SharePoint rocks and so do you we'll see you next time I'm a SharePoint expert play with data extra careful with my hands cuz I gotta use them forward yeah I'm a big old nerd I like maple syrup all my pancakes I don't care what you heard